In this video, I'm going to show you a crayon resist, um, or I like to call these magic paintings. And children of um, all ages from preschool through elementary school, elementary school, sorry, really like doing these. So um, basically what you're doing with these is um, you're using the wax in crayons to resist paint um, so that you get that to show through um, after you do the painting. And so for children, uh, you can sort of tell them about this or you can let them discover it on their own. Maybe do the crayons one day and then do the painting over it the next day. Um, one thing that's really fun with older children, uh, it's a little too frustrating for preschoolers, but is using a clear wax crayon. And you could probably achieve this just with some pieces of paraffin. Um, I typically get, typically get these from Easter egg dyeing kits and I save them. So I'm going to do a little bit up here with the clear wax crayon so we can kind of see what might happen if we used that. And then for the rest of it, I'm, I'm just going to do a little bit of drawing with regular crayons. These are just the Crayola crayons. I don't have a white in here. White can get kind of a similar um, idea as the clear crayons because the white is very, you know, blends in with the paper and then you get a surprise when it comes through afterwards. So let's see, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, drawing here and then we'll see what it looks like when it resists. So. So when we're done with the crayons, then the next step is the watercolors. And um, I pointed out before that I really like to use these glass jars for colors, um, for paint. And this works very similar. This is the typical uh, paint cup container that they sell for easels. And there's a lid you can put on it, but you can also just use it like this. So either one of these gets a really nice color when um, you start to mix the paint or wash your paint brushes and see the paints mix in there. So let's start like this. that is coming through. Uh, some people really like to do this with liquid watercolors because the watercolors are so much more vibrant. Okay, I'll just kind of see that uh, just clear crayon coming through there. And then let's do some wash over this whole thing. So I'm going to use a little bit bigger paintbrush so I get a better wash over the whole. Doing it faster. start to see some of that crayon shining through as the paint starts to dry. It's a pretty neat effect. Those are called crayon resists or magic paintings.